good. I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Word of Zach here, and I'm back for another video. In today's video, I'm just gonna be reviewing and talking about the Is My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics palette. <laughs> First off, <laughs> so really quick before I start off with the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel because you see I did this halo eye, it looks good, I look bomb, I look beat. Hopefully, haven't seen how it's looking on camera, but in person, <laughs> she's beat, oh God. She's beat zone. <laughs> she's beat, okay? But, but anyway, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel, you know, just go ahead and just, you can do it, you know, just go ahead and subscribe and then get this video a big thumbs up, share it or whatever, and go ahead and buy this palette because just let you know now, go ahead and buy the palette. You can go ahead and click off. Don't, don't click off the video. Don't. Don't do it. But yeah, go ahead and subscribe though. Thank you. But yeah, no, really go ahead and subscribe though. I appreciate that. So guys. So guys, really quick, I just want to give like a quick backstory on the reason why I wanted the palette to begin with and I knew that the palette was coming out. Not just because I'm a makeup lover, but because I kind of not owe my reason for loving makeup, but one of the main reasons why I'm so into YouTube and the beauty community and everything like that and just being an influencer um, in general is because of It's My Ray Ray. When I was um, stationed overseas, she was actually the first YouTuber that I ever watched. I watched her channel for like, I think she was like the only person I watched for months and months straight and that was it. Like I would just rewatch all her videos. And this was like two years ago. And I remember she came out with her collaboration with ColourPop and she came out with the shade Stingray and a razor or something like that too. And I got um, all of those and they just did a relaunch a few months ago. And so I re-upped on those, but this is like the first, one of the first lipsticks I ordered online. I still, well this is a newer one, but I have the old one as well, like the original I bought two years ago from her collaborate ColourPop, which I'm wearing today as well. And it's in the shade Stingray. So yeah, I'm super excited about that too. But um, Ray is just so beautiful. She's so talented. She's so positive and uplifting and her channel is just all about being like embracing your flaws and feeling beautiful about yourself and just, you know, not taking life too seriously, but, and also she incorporates things on how to be a better person, how to cope with things and dealing with depression, anxiety and whatnot and acne prone skin and all that type of stuff. I just love her. And she always, always, always gives praise to God, which I love and I appreciate so much. I love that about her. And she's a woman of color out here doing so great. Her and her husband are building just an empire and it's the most beautiful thing ever. So of course, I wanted to make sure that I supported her and supported this launch of her own eyeshadow and brush kit like with BH Cosmetics. I didn't get my hands on the brushes, um, but I do definitely plan on getting those, but I did get the palette, which is a full face palette. It's a 21 color eyeshadow and highlighter contour palette. I used the contour, the highlighter, and the shadows today. And I honestly, legit, you're gonna see in the video, it's gonna be more of a talk through, but I enjoyed every single thing about this palette. So I know I'm gonna talk about the palette, but I haven't told y'all yet. I'm gonna let me show y'all. So this is Ray's palette right here. No, this is what she did. She did She did one of these numbers. She, you know, she got something for everybody. I think these shades will literally work on any eye shade, the color, the tones. I'm here for everything. You can do so much with this palette. You can just go super neutral right here every day with a little nice color in the crease. Like, <laughs> you got everything you need right here. And then you got down here, the contour shades. I'm dark. I'm, I'm team dark skin over here with this blonde wig on, you know, I'm here. We're dark and we're blind, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, I'm dark and I'm blind, okay? You see it, you, she's cut, she, she's, she's cut. The contour, she, 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 she. yes. Brownie bite bit the hell out of my cheeks, okay? Brownie bite bit a chunk out of my cheeks and contoured me and maybe like I ain't eating them off, okay? And the other contour shades are cool. Like I use chai actually to do like a reverse contour situation to highlight right under here and under my eyes. And then I use French Toast and Radiant Highlighters, which are beautiful, beautiful highlighters, which you will see like here. <laughs> it's lit, whatever, you know, it's lit. <laughs> 
shadow is a bomb. They're super creamy. Minimal fallout with some of the metallic shades. I did get a little bit of fallout, but that's kind of normal. Manageable. You, <laughs> the face is still beat. <laughs> she still beat though. But yeah, and you get a bomb mirror. The mirrors of quality. And the price of this palette, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was like maybe $23 or something like that. For all of this, you get this full palette for like $23. Like, like, can we, can we, can we just discuss this? You get all 21 shadows, cheeks, contour, and everything like that for like $23. Morphe Canada. <laughs> Let me have fun with my names out there because I like the names too. But BH Cosmetics and Ray Ray did this palette. I love when BH Co does collaborations. I like BH Cosmetics on their own as well, but their collaborations, they do so extremely well. I love the Carly Bible palette, but this palette is just... This is gonna be one of my palettes that I reach to, especially with the contour. Like, I literally don't have any contour palettes at all because I always have to use the eyeshadow. If you know me and you watch my videos, you know I'm always contouring with some type of eyeshadow. And for me to have to like be able to use an actual palette for contouring, that's supposed to contour me. Thank you, Ray. You didn't have to do this, but you did. You did this for us. And I appreciate you for that. Okay. But yeah, go ahead and hit me up on all my socials and stay tuned for the video. And I hope you guys enjoy. That was really bitchy. That was really bitchy. I don't know why I did that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy me. But and get your hands on a palette. I will link everything down below because I definitely think you should pick it up because it is a hot fire palette. It's a hot fire. It's hot fire. I think it might be sold out right now, but they're gonna restock though. They're, they're gonna restock, so get your hands on it. Stay tuned. Stay well. Bye. All right, I can't sing, but we're gonna get into it. Yeah. So yeah, I just went ahead and used my Hourglass Super Bougie Primer to prime my face, and I'm just gonna color correct real quick, cause you know I'm a man. I got beard and stuff. I be shaving and stuff, and I got dark circles and stuff. So yeah. But I just went ahead and color correct, and I'm going in with my super, super bomb full coverage foundation and the hourglass, the hourglass foundation in the shade Chestnut and my Anastasia foundation in the shade Coco because, you know, that's a little more red and I have some red and yellow golden stuff going on in my face and with the yellow blonde wig, <laughs> just have to finesse, okay? Blend it out with my bomb Morphe brush, which is one of my favorite brushes to use for my report foundation. I'll have that link below and also tagged my Instagram. Now I'm just going in with my super, super affordable concealer, one of my favorites right now, the ColourPop Concealer in the shade Deep Golden, which is a really nice color for me, but not exactly my pick. I need, I really want to go and check out some of their other shades around my skin tone and see how they work for me, but this is pretty, pretty good. And I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge to blend it out. Super dope, affordable sponge. Once again, here we go. We went for the affordable. I mean, everything goes on you before. <laughs> you know, you got to spend a coin here and now, okay? Okay. So as you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that Cody Airspun powder to get nice and mint or whatever. Nice and blend it and highlight it and cut and stuff. Okay. Before we dive into the star of the show, this is my Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics collaboration palette, which I was super, super excited for, but you already know that is bomb. I already said it in the beginning. Oh gosh, you already know. But really quick rundown on the eye look. I just went ahead and wanted to take the shade Sunset um, into my crease and with the shade Friday as well to give me like a nice Thomas Halbert, you know, smoking on, hang on a little effect or whatever. So I'm just taking, like I said, the shade Sunset, then Friday, then Connie, which is I think like her mother's law favorite color, something like that. So it's super beautiful. Taking those colors, focusing on the inner corner, outer corner, then taking the shade Black Beauty with a flat brush to just make sure I pack that color on nice and intense because that's what you do with those dark colors to get them to that full potassium. <laughs> But Tatsia, girl, but I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. But you want to pack on those dark colors to make sure that they get to like their full potential, basically. And when you blend it out, you're going to lose some of that color, as you can see there. But you can easily, easily just go back and pack the color right back on to just bring it back to life when be fair with the color. If you were doing something like a Halo Eye, you don't really have to put the black and the dark shadows in a, in a, on the middle because you're going to be covering up anyway. But I just did it because I just wanted, to see, wanted you guys to see how bomb it is. I could have stopped there, but... I have to be extra and go on with a concealer brush and grab the shade Tiffany, which was speaking to me. She was calling me. She was texting me. 
she was all in my DMs. She was coming for me, okay? She was coming for me. What are you getting for Christmas, Tiff? Like, okay, hello. So Tiffany is on a live right now to just bring like a nice, uh, she, you know what she's doing. Y'all see Tiffany serving, serving. And I'll use that, the top of the concealer brush to just kind of carve out the shape of what I wanted for the halo eye. I'm just going to take that same shape Black Beauty um, with the pencil brush on my lower lash line. And I'm going to take some of the shape Friday and Connie mixed together with a um, another flat brush and a big fluffy brush. So we just blend it out of my lower lash line to make everything nice and smoking, blending, grunging, you know, Demi Lovato circa 2012 or whatever. And then take my Milani Super Bomb Black Eyeliner and put that on my inner corners to just make my eyes look more sultry, sexy, and just bring this look together. Along with the shade Tiffany again, because, you know, Tiffany just kept calling me. Kept calling. I grab my Violet Voss and the Makeup Shack Lashes and the shade I Do Not Care. I Do Not Care or whatever. Ooh, look, oh, oh. I'm going too fast. Mm. Y'all see this palette. I'm going to let this palette, the palette speak for itself. Y'all see this contour shade. Y'all see the contour. I just cut you. Because she cut me. Y'all see. Brawny bite for contour and chai to highlight. And I'm one of the darker complexions when it comes to you, most foundations. Like, I'm in, like, the the top, like, three or the last three shades of dark. Like, you know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm up there. Okay, hello. Melanin is popping. And I was able to contour with this palette, highlight with this palette. It sank into the skin so beautifully. It highlight like it didn't highlight my pores, my texture. It just made everything look beautiful. Oh, I loved it. And I'm going in with, right now with the best lip combo ever. One of my favorites. One of my first favorite. Like one of my first lipsticks I ever purchased with my own money was the It's My Ray Ray and ColourPop collab, which I'm wearing right now, along with uh, iconic Mac Chestnut lip liner. So that's the duo that I decided to do for this look because you know I love my girl Ray Ray. She's beautiful. She's so just amazing, and I want to support her and support out of melaninist and everything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed me. And subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with my friends. If you love Ray Ray, tell her that I sent you. Make sure you get your hand on this palette whenever it comes back out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.